Hi and welcome to Chef's Review. Let me show you a cotton candy machine from Royal Catering. So, just by the size of it, it's perfect for fun fest and open air festival. It works with 1030 watts. Uh, just the spinning head, the heart of the mechanism, I'll get to that in a second, works with, uh, directly on an engine with 70 watts of power and the ball has a diameter of 52 centimeters. And let me show you one cool feature, uh, because after each use it's time for cleaning. So you do that by taking these clamps off, let me just take them off, just like that. And you can take this bowl off. This gives you access to your spin handle. And one more feature I'd like to show you, these four spaces uh, made of rubber. Uh, these make sure there's a really tight fit between the bowl and the mechanism because when it spins uh, they prevent all the vibration so that it won't wobble. So let me put it back on. There's of course these two carry handles on both sides so you can actually move this device around. Uh, it's not that heavy, it's about 12 kilograms heavy so with the help of these you can move it around with ease. Alright, let me put back like the center the bowl, put the clamps back on, tighten up, make sure it's really centered so the spinning handle won't rub on the bowl. Okay, in order to turn it on, very easy, just two switches and they have an LCD display that shows uh, the amperes, there's an amper meter. But in order to make one portion there's a couple of advice I can, I can give you. First, never overfill the spinning handle. That's why in the set you get this spoon. Uh, it fits about 18 up to 20 grams of sugar and all you have to do is just put the sugar into the center. I'm using blue bubblegum flavor but there's a lot of flavors and colors on the market. The next step is you turn the heating on and then you turn the power on. That will make the device spin and it take, takes approximately two minutes for the sugar strings to come out. Display. When you see it's rising, rising it means the spinning handle, uh, spinning head is warming up. Once it, and it's dropping it means it's already um, at the surface temperature and it starts to create caramelized sugar strings. Uh, one more remark, uh, use bamboo sticks. There's a lot of sticks on the market. Just make sure there's not really smooth. It just makes it more easy uh, to catch the, um, the sugar strings. It's starting to create the candy. So all you do, you have to spin the stick. It's fairly easy. And on the internet, you'll see those cotton candy masters who do flowers and different sizes uh, and shapes of it. I just want to show you the basic. If I can do it, anyone can. There you go, kids will go crazy. In order to clean it, all you have to do is just pour some water in it. When it evaporates, it will clean the bowl and it will clean the head. Uh, just one more advice. Before you turn it off, always turn the heating off first. You shouldn't use any abrasive or corrosive or scouring detergent. It may damage the surface. The more scratches, the easy it will be to uh, catch the sugar on it. Let me quickly summarize. It looks good, has this nice girly pinky design. Uh, it, is, it is very efficient due to its power. Uh, 10, uh, 1030 watts. Uh, the diameter of the bowl is 52 centimeters so you can do these really big fluffs of cotton candy. If you're interested in, in buying one of these just make sure you have a look at the website. There's a variety of cotton candy machines of different sizes, different efficiencies with different attachments. You will surely find one that will suit your needs best. If you order this one it will come with a three-year warranty and it will be delivered in a huge box just like this one with lots of styrofoam and bubble wrap and so on for additional safety so nothing will happen to it during transport. Inside you will also find the instruction manual, just have a read before you start the machine the first time. There's a lot of useful information on how to use it and how to maintain it. Alright, that's about it. If you found this informative just make sure you leave me a comment in the comment section on what equipment you want me to test and I'll do them for you. 
I thank you guys very much for watching and I see you next time.